Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy. And in today's video, I'm gonna be playing a new deck that I just created. So yeah, we're in the first game here. And this deck costs 2.4 elixir on the average elixir cost. So yeah, it's quite similar to the decks that I've been playing the past few days. But we only have one spirit right now, which is the Ice Spirit. So, all right, he goes pretty aggressive with the RG. I can just go for my Cannon and my Ice Spirit and that's gonna do a pretty decent job. I'll also go for the Valk though. Okay, I should have put my Valk lower because now the Phoenix is on tower. But I can just support with the wall breakers and okay this is fisher but there's no way he can stop the wall breakers so okay we still got the better um trade out of that i would say but definitely still could have been better for us that was a too aggressive rg from him i would say but yeah he got away with it because i let his phoenix go through which is unfortunate but it's fine okay we activate the king tower and we kill the bomber with the evil skellies and he still has to respawn to the evil skellies so good defense right there he has nothing for the evil wall breakers so we get the double connection right there all right i'm just gonna go for the valk because i don't really want to let the little prince connect and going for goblins there would be yeah very stupid because he could just pop the ability right and then I would need to put something else again. Okay, he goes for the Evo RG. I can just go for my Goblins and Ice Spirit to buy myself a little bit of time. And okay, he's gonna take Tower here because I have nothing to stop the Evo RG and the Phoenix at the same time. But it's alright because look at my right side Tower. It's full HP and both of his Towers are really low. So if I just take one Tower... I should be looking really good here, so I'll predict the Fisher. Okay, this is Fisher. Really good Ice Spirit right there. Also, if he would have put a Phoenix or something else, that Ice Spirit would have been really good also. Okay, he goes really aggressive with the RG, but now he can't really defend my barrel. He, barrel. he goes for the Rage also, but look at that. He got like four or three RG shots. I'm not really sure. I didn't count, but I think it was four. I'm not sure though. But yeah, we just need to defend and get a little bit more damage. So I'm like sure I set up my next cannon so he can't really go for a good RG. Okay, that's a really bad ability because now I just get three goblins. Okay, he's gonna get like two shots from the bomber there. Okay, no way. I will, I'll go for the evil wall breakers to make sure I take tower. I have to block the phoenix and hopefully my skellies. Okay, <laughs> we managed to kill the RG that was so close. If he would have gotten one more shot there, I would have lost. <laughs> Really bad matchup, I feel like, here still with the Arrows, Rage, Evo, Bomber and RG. But yeah, definitely winnable. We're in the next game here. I know that this guy is running with Golem Pump. So he's been running this deck for <laughs> almost all of his life, I would say. But yeah, he has, has the Evo Bomber now. So it's going to be kind of annoying in combination with the Golem Pump. But... Yeah, should be all right. We have to pressure him really well, but it, like it's really annoying to um, face pump with this deck. The thing is, um, he doesn't have the fastest cycle, so he's not really gonna be able to stack pumps or anything. He might get a pump down. Okay, what is my princess doing? It was already shooting the bomber, but then decides <laughs> to not hit it because the tower was killing the bomber, right? And then the princess stops shooting because it thinks the um, tower is gonna kill the bomber, which it is. But the princess could have killed the bomber faster and that way it would have survived. But it doesn't shoot the bomber because the princess tower is already shooting it. So my princess was just doing nothing there and letting itself get killed from the bomber, which is really annoying. But that happens quite a bit with the princess. It's a really bad interaction that has been like a thing since um the start of crash okay that's a really bad bomber right there he should have put it lower look at that that was a really bad bomber <laughs> no way he can't defend both lanes here what's that nato he missed the nato <laughs> no way he missed the nato he didn't hit all the evil skellies <laughs> that was so bad i feel bad for him though <laughs> like he put the bomber but it was just a little bit of a bad placement if you put it like two tiles lower it would have been fine 
we're in the next game against Invader. So this is gonna be a really bad matchup because I can't defend Lava Loon pushes. So if he gets a Lava Loon push going, I'm not gonna be able to defend my tower. So yeah, I have to kind of try to make him not go for a Lava, but he can kind of just like let his tower go and go for a Lava in the back and I'm still gonna lose the game. So yeah, definitely gonna be really hard here. Um, but yeah, it's good that he didn't go for Lava first play for us. Would be really bad for us if he goes for Lava first play because then there's nothing I can really do because he's just gonna take one of my towers and even if I take his tower, which I won't because he's just gonna defend cheaply. Okay, he goes for the Lava and I take his tower, but that's not really gonna help me. I feel like I'll go for the Evo Skellies at the bridge to at least force out something. And now I only have my princess for defense, right? I can kite with the with the cannon, but that's not really gonna do anything. I'll try to cycle to my second cannon to pull it inside of the other's tower range, but I feel like I can't even defend this. There's my next cannon. So yeah, my other tower is shooting it, but it's not even gonna go to the king tower. So I'll lose my tower here anyways, which is really unfortunate, but there's nothing I can really do. Okay, look at that. He just goes for the skelly back at the bridge, which is really aggressive, but he can kind of do it, so... All right. Just gonna go for goblins at the bridge and pull everything with the skellies. Hopefully he responds to those goblins. All right, no, he just lets them go. So, look at our king tower. I'm just gonna go for princess at the bridge to force him to respond to this. So, we force out the... Mega minion, which is good. I'll go for the Goblin Barrel plus Wall Breakers. So, yeah, he just ignores this. He knows if he just makes a good push, I can't defend. So he just ignores that, knowing that he's just gonna be able to take my tower. And I'll just set up my first cannon. I know I can cycle to the next one, but it's not really gonna help me. So I'll set up my first princess, but he can just arrow that and. Yeah, that's his arrows. I can cycle to another princess, but I can't even kill the balloon. He goes for skelly drags in the middle, which I can't do anything against. And now look at that. How am I supposed to defend this? Like, I can just give up. So, yeah. I'm gonna show this game anyway, because there's nothing I can really do in this matchup. So, yeah, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win, right? Alright, we're in the next game against this guy. Oh no, he has the pump second play. I already know that this guy is running the E-Golem back with the yeah, Night Witch and Evo Bats and stuff. But he has the Golden Giant instead of the E-Golem. So interesting variation from him. I've seen other people play it with the Golem too. So yeah, kind of crazy how, how this deck works with every different kind of win condition. Some people play with E-Golem, some with Goblin Giant, some with Golem. <laughs> Maybe I'll see Pekka or E-Giant or Lava with this in the future. So yeah, definitely really, really bad that he has two pumps down because we have like almost, I maybe have like two elixir more in hand than him right now but he has like two pumps down so that's really bad because yeah he's gonna have a big elixir advantage and yeah there you go he already makes a push because he knows he's up that much elixir but i can go for a really good ice spirit on the left ice spirit plus two goblins get a little bit over 1000 damage onto the tower which is really nice because people don't expect that from two goblins plus an ice spirit on the left right so okay he Gives me the good game, interesting. <laughs> okay, but I feel like he kind of like threw his lead away here. So yeah, I don't think, okay, what is that evil skellies? Those are completely wasted evil skellies. And also he didn't protect his pr pump properly. So <laughs> yeah, he knows that was really horrible. That's how you waste your elixir advantage, man. <laughs> yeah, he just goes for the um, goblin giant in the back, but now he's not, even close to like being up as much as he was before because he only has one pump which is already dead so all right he goes for the gob um skelly king behind the goblin giant i need to make sure to get a good next valk here so i'm gonna go for the valk right now he goes for the skelly king ability and 
I have to go for my princess. Look at that Valk, man. That Valk disappeared like it was nothing. <laughs> it got shredded so fast, but yeah. I'm gonna go for everything on the left because he doesn't have the arrows in cycle and yeah with going goblin giant in the back there's no real way for him to stop that because he's just too low on elixir but we still need to take towers so we have to make sure to pull off a good defense here all right he goes for the skelly king but okay he has to waste the rage onto the evil skellies which is really good i need to cycle to another valk right here okay he has the evil beds and the evil skellies on the left so i need to make sure i go for like a Valk in the middle to pull everything and oh my that evil skelly almost connected to my tower um, so yeah he can't defend those right okay yeah <laughs> we take tower and yeah gonna hit him with the thanks <laughs> so gonna see you guys for one more game we in the final game for today against this guy oh no <laughs> lava first play in the back no Okay, man, hopefully he doesn't have the balloon, but <laughs> he probably has, right? So, okay, I'm gonna lock in here, though. So, I know this guy doesn't play it the best compared to other lava players, because, yeah, I I play the same lava players on top ladder every time, you know? There's not too many lava players on top ladder, so you always face the same ones. And this guy definitely doesn't play it the best compared to others so maybe we have a chance but this is a hundred and zero matchup for him so he doesn't have the same deck that invader had but it's definitely still a hundred and zero because yeah just lava loon plus arrows hundred zeros my deck basically doesn't even matter what other cards they have so i'll pressure him with the barrel plus wall breakers here that's gonna be really good okay he doesn't go for the best bomber and look at that, we get really good damage there. So, okay, he goes for the minions there, which is good for us. I'm just gonna go for the goblins and I'll go for the ice spirit in front of this. Okay, that's gonna be tower if he doesn't defend that. So that's gonna be really good actually. So, okay. I have to make a crazy play here. Like I know I can't defend, so I'll bait the arrows. And okay, I'll go in here because he's gonna lo he's gonna loon, right? So yeah, this is loon. He has the he has like no elixir. He can afford the bomber, but he has to defend both sides. Evil skellies, please don't die, evil skellies. No, they died. But look at his king tower, man. He can't defend. He has no elixir. <laughs> man, no way. That was the perfect timing, knowing he would go for the arrows and then the loon. So he had almost no elixir to stop that. Man, that was a crazy last game. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.